Throughout this channel, we speak about retirement in the Philippines. The subject of money has cropped up from time to time, but in today's video, we will be focusing exclusively on an updated version of the cost of retiring in the Philippines as a foreigner. The property market in the Philippines is diverse in terms of its price. The area of the country and whether you live in a city or province will have a part to play in the overall price. Within the city, small condominiums tend to be priced between 14,000 to 18,000 pesos. One bedroom units range between 18 to 25,000 pesos and two bedroom units range between 25 to 40,000 pesos. However, this is an average and prices will change depending on the location. House prices can be as low as a few thousand pesos if you wish to live like a local. However, most suitable housing starts around 5 to 9 9,000 pesos. A house in the city centre can range between 10 to 14,000 pesos, but this will depend on the facilities and the location. When moving in, you will need to pay two months deposit and one month advance payment in most cases. So basically, once you have the total cost of your property, times this by three for the amount needed to pay before you move in. The retirement visa in the Philippines has several options, and to summarize, each option will have different financial commitments. In the Philippines, a retirement visa requires a time deposit, and this will depend on the type of visa or whether or not the visa holder has a pension. The typical retirement visa has a time deposit of $20,000, but if you have a pension of more than $800 a month, the time deposit can be as low as $10,000. The processing fee is currently one $1,400 with an annual fee of $360. Food costs will fluctuate from person to person, but if you are eating local cuisine, the overall food budget will remain low. Farmers markets and local street food vendors offer the lowest prices. The biggest food expense tends to be when eating in Western food chain restaurants. Nevertheless, a budget of $300 to $500 is often enough if you eat local foods, but you may wish to add an extra $100 on top if you eat out regularly or mainly eat Western food. Previously, we've spoken about utilities in depth, so to summarize, electricity prices in the Philippines can be high, however, other expenses such as water remain low. If you live in a condo, you may wish to budget between 5,000 to 7,000 pesos a month. This includes mobile phone bills, high-speed internet, electricity, and so on. If you live in a large house with your family, use the air conditioning unit frequently, etc., you may wish to increase your budget by a few thousand pesos a month. On the other hand, if you are a single guy and do not use a lot of electricity, then your utility prices will remain low, such as a few thousand pesos a month. To retire comfortably in the Philippines, a budget of $1,500 to $2,000 is often recommended. However, in actual fact, retiring in the Philippines can be much cheaper. There have been retirees that have spoken on YouTube about how they've retired in the Philippines on a low budget of $800 or less. In the Philippines, there are highly paid local professionals, such as doctors, teachers, etc., living a very good life on a much smaller budget than most retirees retirees spend in the Philippines. This goes to show that there are opportunities to live well on a budget if you wish. 